Hello, we're back. We got more Silent Hill 3, everyone. We got a quiet stream today. People are getting ready for Christmas. Watching, making video games. get the chance to explore all those other rooms though. At least I know, uh, I know this big guy's here. And he was hitting me already. I'll try and do it later. Okay, so. But anyway, yeah, we know he's there. So let's go explore these other rooms. They're probably all locked, but could be some good stuff. Lock is broken. And this just leads to a chasm. Alright. So as I thought, nothing really worth getting down here because you can't really get anything. So, we'll head back over here and go through that door. I do like the amount of exploration in Silent Hill. Even if the areas are a bit creepy. Especially that room in Silent Hill 2 that had the horse just running around and you could hear it but you couldn't see it. And then that fucking sound right there. Oh, okay, there's a there's a hole there. Lock is broken. Wait, look at that thing. What the hell is that? Not sticking around. Okay. Oh, Door. Alright, so. This looks promising, but still, it's not leading me to where I, what I thought I'd have to get. I think I have to run through there anyway. There are shackles here. They look pretty broken in. Gross. That stain on the restraint is shaped like a human. I don't want to even think about what this platform was used for. Oh, good, save point. I keep forgetting there's some uh, dialogue when you click the save points. Sorry. I'm in the sports shop. I, I guess. Okay, so I can't get the dialogue again. Sorry about that, guys. I'll try to remember that. In the middle of the platform is some kind of vice. There's a sort of vice here. Right. Oh, you know what? Let's try this. Aha! No nut in the walnut shell, just a jewel? Get the moon stuff. Okay, that's probably what we need to get into that door. Trust in walnut. Fuck that noise. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I gotta get back to the escalator now. When we're, uh... Oh, yeah. oh shit, those guys blow it. Fly. God. Ah! Camera! What are you doing, bud? Yeah. I need to get over there before they blow it over and murder me. Murder the hell out of me. Were there enemies in here before? I don't think there were. No, there are, though. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. There's one behind me. <laughs> ah! So many monsters here now. 
Okay. We wanna go this way? Why is my light not on? That's where I got the walnut. So if we go out here, we can again save our game and go upstairs. So we should check every new stair point, a uh, save point for some uh, lo uh, story, or at least some thoughts of Heather about the particular symbol and its effect on her. So I, I apologize for missing that last one. I completely forgot that that was a thing. Alright, so I up here. We killed these two guys, so unless they respawn, we should be okay. Okay, crap. <laughs> Welcome back, Lunk! So, Lunk, what, what you doing for the holidays? You have four days till Christmas. Are you excited? It's uh, just a type of jewel, not really from the moon. It was inside the walnut somehow. Look at that. Inserting it, got us through, through to the other side. Now we're up here. See this is where those footprints are coming from. I don't see it at all. That's even creepier. I thought it was something I could go bash with this pipe, but no, it is not. Unless it's on this walkway. Oh. Alright, down we go. Yeah, because this doesn't seem ominous at all. Excited? You get expecting anything cool for Christmas? Are you hoping for anything cool at least? All oh, right, is this a boss fight? I think this might be a boss. Fight. The ladder broke, that's on my
is an interesting music. Did I win? I think I won. Uh, sorry, Lonk was in a boss fight. Chad is, Chad is dead? Yeah, I wasn't expecting too many people to show up today. It's it's the Friday before Christmas and people are out busy. What? It's the shopping mall just like before. Was that all just a dream? Why do I have this gun in my hand? Whew, okay. I can calm down a little. Lock is broken. Again, I'm a little concerned about this. <laughs> Memorial Grill since 1977. Well, the lock is broken, so that's kind of a problem. Sunshine Princess. Natural shot. Got a horse on it. Blue Marine Surf Shop. Cafe Paradise. Room? Guess that's what it says. First letter's blending together on me. Alright, so we're back to where we started. So it doesn't look like you can particularly go anywhere except possibly under here. Lonk, you won! I need to give my uh, slime inflated stats. Nah, the, stats, the slimes don't have stats right now. I'd love to be able to implement an RPG system where you guys like level up for, for duels and uh, boss fights. But uh, we need to get some boss fights into the game. Lock is open. I can't. Well, we all have our hopes. What? Wish I could get a hold of Dad. Okay. We were just running through here. Okay, there's the save point area, though. So I've been understanding the door's shut tight and won't open. The door's locked. But why do so many doors just have, like, broken locks? That doesn't make any sense. Summer! Hello, how's it going? We're starting our foray into... Stream Raiders! Stream Raiders! Well, look at that, Lonk. We're getting some more people. This is the one Silent Guild Hill game that you haven't played. Uh, I haven't played... Well, I played 1 and 2 now, so we are at Silent Hill 3, as you can see, and I am slowly working my way through it. I got the bomb. Something appears and pulls out the bomb. Look at that. So, uh, those of you who are new, um, if you are not following, if you uh, you won't get an avatar on the stream. Um, but if you do, you can have a slime avatar. These are the adorable slime from Dragon Quest. The lock. Is... All these doors are locked. Like, why are there so many broken locks in this mall? Arabia24 with the follow. Welcome to the Job Club. And now you got a metal slime. Look at that. Oh cool, save point. I like save points. Luffs and TZ, welcome! Welcome to Silent Hill 3. It's a good Christmas raid too. Good for Friday. How's everybody's Friday going? You got any plans for... Prom... Prom... Prometeo. Sorry. Ugh. Punky! Good to see you again. How you doing? What's going on guys? Playing through Silent Hill 3 right now. As you can see, it's a fantastic game. Kinda, I assume. I'm kinda just walking into the walls. I'm in Happy Burger right now. Oh, what is this? More beef jerky. Sweet. Oh, look, the lock is broken. 
I'm doing pretty good. I was a little sleepy earlier, but uh, starting Silent Hill woke me up. The beginning of this game is actually significantly creepy. I was a little surprised by that. Just a little bit. But, that's okay. Am I an old school gamer? I would say so. I, my first game I played was Final Fantasy 3. In uh, Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 1 for the NES. I was 3 years old. What just happened? You must be one of them. What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. <laughs> Claudia did all that? Look. I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here and... I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. I've been running from and forgot for a long time. How did I remember that? What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? How if I know? Oh, Punky, uh, my stream, I tend to focus on story of games, so I'm, you, you'll, you'll never find me skipping anything. Um, you love all games? That was just the first you got into? So I got a question for you, Zeus. I, um, I've never played Halo, and I've never really been into FPS games, but I was curious. I don't have this area. Alright, um, people say the story of Halo is actually pretty decent. What would you say? Would you say the story of Halo is pretty decent? But yeah, uh, the focus of my stream tends to be the story of games, uh, so you, that's what I try to showcase as much as possible. So you're not going to see too much skipping of, of, of story content. Um, you're gonna get a lot of casual playthroughs. I don't do speed runs. I just don't have a mindset for it. 100%. Story's really good. Alright. I might have to find a way to play it then, because... Uh, as a kid, I never got an opportunity to play Halo. Uh, we didn't really own an Xbox, and... Toxic Radio! Yeah! We got lots of slimes! You gotta be a follower to get one, but, uh, every follower gets an avatar. You don't have to subscribe or anything like that, um... But there's a lot, some icon, there's some, uh, some commands you can do if you got a slime. Um, yes, I'm an absolute RPG fanatic. I've played almost every Final Fantasy game on stream here, except for the Tactics series, because I'm going to do those on YouTube, and Dissidia, which I'm also going to do on YouTube. Oh, and Dimensions too, because that kind of recently came out over here in a format that could be played. Oh, that's right on the map of this area. All right, before we go through here, I just want to check it out. I haven't played Shin Megami Tensei yet. Uh, my brother has, though. So, um, he never w he would never let me play them when we were kids, so... He, he was worried that I would break the game, even though they broke far more games than I ever did. I also haven't played Persona, but they're on the list, so I'm waiting for you guys to vote for it. And a follow from the Stream Raiders, yeah! 
I do. It's uh, it's definitely on my list to play. Oh, this the fucking lock is broken. I hear really good things about it. I hear it super hard. Still waiting on Final Fantasy Tactics. Lock. Um, I got plans to start it. Zeus, thank you very much for following. Welcome to the Gem Club. Your brother was the same way. I have four older brothers, and they each had these weird things about what they wanted you to do or not do, and they'd get mad at you for it. Yeah, look, I got plans for Thursdays, uh, where I'm probably gonna stop the short stream and just uh, do my YouTube series instead, where I'm gonna play YouTube uh, some of the games I got planned for YouTube. Story Theory, welcome! With the raid from Stream Raiders, you guys are fantastic. Oh, I thought that was something on the bench. It's just grooves. I don't think I've ever seen a bench like that. That would just be annoying. Looks like you're not taking the subway home. I don't think anybody's taking the subway. Hey, the door's locked. Sweet. What the hell's the map? Who's that? Toxic Radio PS, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Jump Club. Um, as you can see, the slimes all do a, uh, a mass dance when you guys follow or subscribe. There's a subway map here. But even without looking at this, I still on my way home. Shit, you said something else. I just need to get on Bergen Street train at Platform 3. Alright, let's look for Platform 3. Anytime. So yeah, uh, I, like you said, I'm uh, my top two favorite series are probably Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest right now. Um, and I don't think that'll ever change. Dragon Quest has always been a, a series that I've adored ever since I was little. My dad actually got me into them. What the? Okay. What is this? There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street Chase Station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata College bound train. The victim died instantly. Well, yeah. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and was wearing a black jacket. The newspaper's four months old now. What's it doing here now? Still need to beat 11? I definitely need to beat 11. Thanks, Juba. If you must play Halo 1, 2, and 3 in Reach and uh, Halo 3 ODST. So, is there a way that I can play Halo 1 and 2 in them? Because, like, did they release, re-release them in a format that I could play them on? Because, if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, I can see about getting it to work. You usually went on breaks, so it gives you some time to finish it. Yeah, definitely finish it. Dragon Quest XI. Um, Alright, so overall, Dragon Quest V is my favorite Dragon Quest, guys. Uh, the story of that game is just absolutely fantastic. I adore Dragon Quest V. But, and like, the mechanics of the game are also awesome. There's no one working here. Where could they have run off to? But, for presentation, Dragon Quest XI is by far the best. Master Chief Collection? Okay. Cool, thank you. Yeah, you got a subway map. Sweet. I can also talk about Dragon Quest like crazy, so you know you guys will have to stop me if I get to it. See Omega Theory knows. He's been playing it too. See Omega Theory is one of the ones that, one, of, one of my brothers that played um Shin Mega Bay Tensei. I think. Omega, you played Shin, Shin Mega Bay Tensei, right? The lock is broken. So there's two sets of stairs we can go down. Lock is broken. Oh, you'll also find that I, I do a lot of exploring when playing. Let's talk about how Dragon Quest IX is un un underrated. So I didn't play Dragon Quest IX for a very long time. Um, actually, the first time I played it, I actually played it on stream. It's the one that I actually played on stream. I think they need to remake... Um, Dragon Quest IX uh, for the Switch. It's the perfect opportunity to re-release that game. I don't want to go down there yet. I want to explore this floor. Dragon Quest IX is pretty much SMT. Yeah? Oh look, another save point. Alright, so story bit? Nope. Okay, this one doesn't give me any. But I didn't, I didn't forget this time. 
right. So, story theory. How you doing? Do you like uh, stories in games too? That's my favorite part about gaming is uh, going through the story. Boom. Sonic Boom! They have a similar edgy storyline. So, Dragon Quest IX is a fantastic game. I absolutely, I, I really do love it as well. But, um, there's a lot of complaints about the game, uh, your characters just being blank slates. And I get that. If you like the story and you like character building, Dragon Quest IX might not, uh, deliver in that department. But the stories of each of the areas is so well done. Okay. We're not done exploring here yet, so we'll remember those stairs. Remember. The story matters most. I'm with you. Okay. And I think we are finally uh, seeing a return of that after the COD lineage dying off. Yeah. Um, I, I won't knock Call of Duty. Uh, it, it, the games have accomplished what they uh, what they set out to do. And people really enjoy playing them. But uh, those types of games just aren't for me. DQX needs a translation. Square makes me question them. I know. My Black Trife and I are frequently sending out tweets about them, uh, about them uh, translating uh, Dragon Quest X for us. Even if they only gave us an offline version, I would be happy. Offline with uh, Dragon Quest IX style uh, multiplayer would be amazing. The chains are holding the doors together are secured with a nut, a bolt, and a nut. The nut is screwed on tightly. I can't turn it with my hands. All right, so we need something to do that. All right. Well, at least we have a goal in mind. Wouldn't be surprised if Tetsuya leaves Square? I hope not. Square needs to stop hemorrhaging employees and start releasing games that I want to see. <laughs> what? Where the fuck is this going? Okay. Sure! We'll head down here. Why not? Where are we over here? Here's an unpopular opinion. Dragon Quest IX is un not underrated. Um, I mean, it depends, Lonk. If you if that if you enjoyed that type of game, then uh, or that ty type of Dragon Quest, then yeah, exactly. COD is COD, and that's fine. But I totally agree. God of War, Spider Man, Red Dead Redemption Two this year has shown people that companies that single player story games can number one make money, number two are highly sought after. Agreed. God of War was fan fucking tastic. Spider Man, uh, probably the best Spider Man game I've ever played. Even more so than Maximum Carnage, and I love me some Maximum Carnage, but I'm bad at it. It was pretty too sh pretty short. I love Spider-Man. I thought it was fantastic. I didn't play Red Dead Redemption 2, though, but it did win a lot of awards. Path is blocked with trash, so I can't go there. Fuck you, dogs! Why are you down here? Fucking Jaguars? Too much like a movie? I don't think so. I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Octopath was slept on. Okay, so... I don't understand why you don't like Spider-Man as a character. That confused... I'm not Cracker. What? Why? That confuses me, but... I see plenty of people talking about it with positive opinions. I see many people calling Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest Nine is by far not my favorite, but it's a good, it's an okay game. It's a solid entry into the series. All right, Jaguar dogs, please stop attacking me. I don't want to be bit. I don't want you dropping at me. Go away. What is your problem? I just had a lot of fun swinging around in Spider-Man, and the combat was pretty good, pretty fun. The path is blocked with trash, and I can't go through here. With trash? Do you not see the fucking feet sticking out under the newspaper, here, Heather? Is someone sleeping? There we go. All this red stuff around here is blood. This guy is not sleeping. Why am I not the least bit surprised? I think the nightmares numb my senses a little. Uh, maybe? Maybe a little? As a goody goody? I don't know about that.
Marvel vs. Capcom 2 being taken off the PSN and XBLA? Marvel's, hey, Square Enix is actually making a Marvel game, guys. They're making, um, an Avengers game. How, what's that, what, what does that entail? You got me, I don't know, but they're apparently making one. Yeah, uh, I'm with you there, sorry. But guys, don't don't worry about uh, disagreeing with me. I thoroughly enjoy hearing your guys' thoughts on things. Um, what I don't like as a gamer is when people will hate on something and they haven't actually played it or tried it. That bugs me. Or, or they'll read a review and be and the review says it sucks, so they automatically assume it's assume it sucks. I never trust reviews. In fact, very rarely do I find anybody who's written a review that I'm like, oh, huh, okay, yeah, I can see where they're coming from. More often than not, it's usually not worth reading. Yes, they did. I read this a long time ago. It's a nothing, it's a nothing little occult magazine. Seems like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun, though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying in the pain and sadness of the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn the hum to humans for salvation, or they begrudge humans their lives, and sometimes they can possess humans. Places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or at the time of the death occurred. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you, too. I'm always a preferred fan of try it out for yourself. If you don't know if you're going to like it or not, then it's probably best that you um, wait till it's on sale, uh, have a friend who has it, or at least watch videos of it to determine if you like it or if you want to give it a try. But at the same time, don't shit talk it until you've actually tried it. 